Hello everyone, welcome back, and welcome for the first time for to Baldur's Gate. What's uh, We're going to be continuing today our playthrough. Our, our loose, quick, not very in-depth, but a lot of fun playthrough of Baldur's Gate 1 Enhanced Edition. Hello and thank you for joining us this fine evening. I hope you will uh, enjoy yourself. I hope you guys are excited to uh, see what I have in store. The music is going to... Oh, perfect timing while the music ended. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I did a thing. I did a thing yesterday. Because last time when I played, I mentioned that I I was like, oh, playing on story mode is kind of ruining everything. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll start over. Um, turns out, I'm stupid. Uh, Baldur's Gate. Um, and you can, you can change the difficulty midway through. I'll show you. So, you might be noticing there's a few things that are already a little bit different. <laughs> so, I was looking into how to change the difficulty. It turns out, uh, in the option, in the gameplay options, uh, the difficulty slider is grayed out, but that's because story mode is its own toggle. So you need to turn that off to be able to change the difficulty. So we're going to be playing Yes, we're going to be playing. Yeah, re re I rewatched the whole stream because I like to criticize myself and, and, and study my own voice. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I noticed while I was like, I don't know how to do this, story mode was turned off. I mean, story mode was just toggle. It was right there. So I was like, ah. Oh. So I changed it. But even with that, I still replayed through the game. So this is actually. Uh, the same char- well, the same character. It's a sorcerer called Remy. Hello, my name is Remy. Um, I remade the sorcerer. I changed his stats a little bit because I discovered that in Baldur's Gate, or in- Oh yeah, I rewatched re the whole stream, I edited the whole thing. It took about like six hours. Um, and I also replayed the entire game up to the same point. <laughs> For the, for, because I care so much about you guys, for you guys to have the best viewing experience. Um, I respect my guy when I started uh, because I discovered that for sorcerers, stats don't matter. They're not charisma based or int based like in old systems. They're, they're, the stats just doesn't matter. Um, it just matters that you have like enough intelligence to use spell scrolls if you're planning to use spell scrolls and i'm planning to use spell scrolls uh and charisma affect like your prices and stuff like that so it's like not a big deal uh so i maxed out my strength my dex and my con which makes no sense for a sorcerer but it makes sense in this system um and then my charisma's high my wisdom's stupid low because uh yeah the only use it's for for a sorcerer is the wish spell but that's like in the second game so i don't care at all um and my int is just high enough that i i'm not i'm not a dummy <laughs> Um, also, now that we're on normal, you may remember that we're missing someone. <laughs> when I replayed, I did just a few little, uh, I did a little bit more, I didn't want to bore you guys with a tutorial, uh, last time, uh, but this time when I replayed it, I did a little bit more of the tutorial, just get a little bit bonus XP. Nothing changed for you guys, it's, there's still only, uh, Jahira levels up, um, Yes, only her. Actually, I, servant away. I haven't leveled her up, actually, because I was too busy uh, speedrunning the game. Um, but on her level up, she doesn't gain um, anything. Uh, Sharp Shadow says, interesting that only one stat really matters for mages. For mages. Yeah, because I'm playing a sorcerer. Actually, for mages, yeah, I think only... Well, I mean, only one stat matters. They, they have... It's, it's normal in D&D &D that, like, a, a class has a like a key stat like strength for uh fighters if you're a strength fighter i guess strength for barbarians um or like dex for a, an archer or like um, warlocks are charisma sorcerers are charisma like they have a primary stat um but like for 
a barbarian, it's important to have like a primary stat of strength, but then your secondary stat to be like constitution. Um, or like if you're a caster, to have also some high wisdom just for those saving throws. Uh, or for like a monk, for example, I believe they need they have high dex and also high wisdom or a paladin high strength and a high charisma so there, there's a it's not um not ri it's not the only stat that matters but they have a, a, a primary stat and it's like secondary stats uh for sorcerers they don't have a stat they just they don't care at all like zero percent <laughs> don't worry about it um yeah yeah mages and sorcerers uh the main the, the i love those like charts online of like Oh, bards get their magic from uh, <laughs> from their knowledge of music. Uh, wizards are very academic. Uh, warlocks have a sugar daddy, uh, and sorcerers are just lucky pieces of shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, you can. Ellen says one uh, learned from books, and the other uh, and and one makes demon packs. I prefer uh, referring to them for their proper uh, terminology, which is uh, sugar daddies. Also, I just noticed something weird. Uh, her strength score still says 25. So I might need to reload. Uh, because I don't want them to have that much strength. That's stupid. Yeah, well, also, want a one shot. I don't want to one shot everything. I don't want the. Like, I, I'm so overpowered with a slingshot, and that makes no sense. I, I want like to have to use my spells because then I'm not really playing the game. Uh, please don't have. How may I be? Oh, assistant? I think it worked. There you go. There you go. The the stupid strength is gone. <laughs> Just had to reload. Um, but yes, I was saying uh, when I replayed. I'm gonna pause. When I replayed the game. I did just a few little things differently. Uh, last time, I forgot to give Kylie his dagger. So on entering the caves, uh, someone gave us a, a tiny little side quest that one of the miners was stuck in the lower levels of the mines and he didn't have his dagger with him. So we, on the way here, I gave him his dagger. So it was a tiny little aside. It was a side quest. It wasn't really important. So I did it on my own. Um, and uh, something I realized is that in this game, XP is split between your party members so if you have a party member join you and then you kick them out they so they have soaked up some xp and then they're going to leave with it um so by having a smaller party the xp is uh partitioned um amongst a lower number of people so everyone gets a little bit more experience um, and no no experience is like wasted uh, so I'm planning for this, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm planning for this to be, like, I want this party forever until um, Dini here joins us. So I, I didn't take Rasad with us because he's he was just going to soak up the, the very much needed experience. I am playing on normal now, uh, so I might get my ass handed to me and then I'll switch it back to easy. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll try, I'll try my best. Um, normal is considered... So there's the difficulty goes easy. Well, story mode, which is not really a difficulty. Easy, then normal, then there's core rules, which I believe is like where the game is like meant meant to be played, or it's like the base, like it's like how D and D is meant to be played, um, and then it goes just stupid from there. Um, so I'm not playing on core rules. I'm playing on normal. I think I'll, I'll, I'll see I'll see how I do, uh, but if I if the game slows down too much. Uh, I'll put it back on easy, not story mode, but just easy so I can progress just through the storyline without having to do all the side quests. Oh yeah, I should recap what happened last time. So uh, we just defeated Molohe. Well, I should start from the beginning. So the, our protagonist here, uh, poor orphan, uh, uh, people want to kill him. We don't know why. Um, we were just sent away from our like home uh, to run away to stay on the move because some people want to kill us and our father figure who we totally didn't see uh, his death coming um, sent us to just like hey you should stay on the move we should stay on the move uh, before he sacrificed himself to save us um, one day away from retirement uh, so we joined up with uh, friends of his uh, Khalid and 
Chahira, which I discovered they're married. Yeah, rip daddy -o. They're married. I didn't know this. Uh, but that's why they, they're always together. They, you can't have one, but not the other. It's because they, they are a couple, an adventuring couple. How romantic. Um, but we left with them, uh, and we just needed to stay on the move, and they already had business in Nashkill. So we just, hey, well, why not? We uh, went with them to Nashkill, uh, where we discovered that... And there's hints that like the iron shortage and us having to stay on the move and people wanting to kill us are somehow connected. So we have to figure that out. Uh, Sharp Shadow says, I hate when games split the XP. It's confusing getting X amount and wondering why the character who needs less than X hasn't leveled up yet. Yes, the you yeah, the leveling up is very weird in this game because it's it actually it's weirder than you might expect. Because in this game, leveling up is class based. So leveling up a fighter might require a different amount of experience than leveling up a sorcerer. For example, what is it this time? I can't double click on it. I have to open this up. Um, so, I have twelve hundred experience, and to level up, I need two thousand five hundred. To level uh, Imowen up, she only needs twelve hundred. So, if she had as much XP as I have, because I did the tutorial and she didn't, <laughs> she would be leveled up. So. Uh, yeah, the XP is like not only split weird, it's also it needs to be split weird, but like for other reasons. So it's it's kind of weird uh, in that regard. Um, Ellen says, oh my god, married adventurers also feels like untimely death. We won't let that happen. <laughs> All right. Um, yes. How may I what right, recap. Last time we, we arrived... Let us adventure! The game is paused. Don't worry, man. Time is not going by. Um, we arrived in Nashville, and we got the uh, a, a quest... A, a request from uh, Baron Gastkill, the mayor of Nashville, to investigate the mines, uh, because there were apparently some demons in the mines, uh, and the iron is sick. Uh, something we did discover... Yes is this vial of mysterious liquid that the not demons but the kobolds had on them so it was the kobolds that were sp sprinkling that shit all over the iron veins i'm guessing or maybe just on the supplies and we know for a fact that this shit spreads i don't know how but it spreads um and we also uh defeated molahe which uh was in the mind of nashville uh, themselves uh, and was had kobolds under his command. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, Molahe, we also discovered from looting him that he had received his order from Tazok, who is apparently currently in Baragost. So, after we speak to the mayor again, that will be our next objective to see who is pulling the strings and how does it relate to us. So that's what we have to do next. You have but to ask. So now we're gonna steal his shit. Yoink. Uh, he's got a sleep spell, identify spell. Um, I think we'll, we'll probably use the identify spell uh, because identifying things in uh, temples costs like a hundred gold, which is not very good. So we're probably going to be using that immediately. Uh, we have a web spell, which is like second level spell. So that's pretty good. Uh, a moon blade plus three. Holy shit. Uh, an enchanted short sword, which we're definitely going to give to Imuin if it's not cursed. Uh, armor, which I will sell. Infrarision, which will sell. Uh, charm person. Probably going to sell a lot of this stuff. Colors, all of the... Oh, my inventory is full. Um... You're, I've done had enough of this. A lot of the spells, I'm pr uh, spell scrolls, I'm probably going to sell. How do I open chest? I got it. We got a potion of absorption, which I'm assuming is magic absorption. 
This potion, as would be expected, will absorb external attacks when it has been consumed. All crushing attacks made against the imbiber are cushioned, so that only the strongest gets through. Also, there is 100% immunity to all electrical attacks for the duration of the effect, which in this case is two hours. Nice. So, probably like, for people familiar with, uh, no bludgeon please, I am I wonder if there, there's no fall, you can't fall in this game. But if there was fall damage, I know what to do with this. Just orbital drop. Um, but if one day there's a giant, like a storm giant with a mace, we'll know what to do. <laughs> but it's probably going to be like the all those potions in Final Fantasy where you end up with the millions of them and we never use them because you're afraid that you'll there'll be the perfect moment to use them. Um, I made, so I'm probably going to give it to my tank, which is Khalid. Also, I discovered that Minsk is a berserker, a, a ranger. He's a ranger that's a berserker. So I don't know if he's double classing or he's a very angry ranger. Um, carrying too much on me. So I think I'm going to use identify on the short sword, the identify spell. Well, first I need to know what the hell, yeah, rage ranger. <laughs> Rage, but from a safe distance. <laughs> that moon blade. This potent weapon was created by the smiths of ancient Mithranor. Is that a place? Moon blades are used in the long process of selecting a ruler for the Isle of Evermeet. A moon blade chooses its owner. And in the case of this sword, it has chosen the elf Zan. The guy we rescued. Only Zan can use this blade. Anyone else who tries will find themselves unable to lift it. This particular moon blade gives resistance to fire and a bonus to the user's armor class. Sad poggers, because we can't use it. Well, I'm going to sell it. But I don't, I don't, I don't want to really want to talk to Zan again. Uh, Ellen says, I think it's an old long gone elf city or something. <laughs> Sharp Shadow says, Thor's um, sword. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Oh man, if I knew, I wish I looted this before telling Zan to fuck off. <laughs> if we fight, okay. Oh, I had to lug it around with me this entire time. I think I'm going to keep it. And if we find Zen again, we might give it to him. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Uh, oh, also, on my way here, I found uh, Cole Kettle's family amulet, uh, which is a side quest. So we might do that. We might not. Um, and Joseph's greenstone ring, which I will try to do in Nashkill, because it's just a tiny little side quest, a tiny little bonus XP. Um, for, for side quests, stuff like that, I am going to gloss over them. Uh, I want to stay focused on the main storyline. Oh, also, we um, uh, I, I ended up identifying that belt that we got from Garion, which makes us immune to cold and vulnerable to fire. So, if we plan on going to um, Icewind Dale, then we'll wear it. Otherwise, I don't know when this is going to be useful. We'll have to keep that in mind. But let's have a look at that short sword, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, the short sword is a blah, 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 blah. There's just a basic description, but we'll identify it. Belt of snowsuit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome, Dark Hoblin. It is good to see you. Uh, we're going to use our scroll to identify it. Damn. Uh, okay, so what's magical about this short sword? Oh, it's plus one. That's pretty good. So this is a plus one short sword, which Imwin will love, I hope. Well, I bet. I mean, she's ungrateful. <laughs> uh, requires five strength. Yeah, this is awesome. Just a simple plus one short sword. Wait, why is it red? Wait, why is it red? Oh, is it because I can't use it? because I can't use it. I 
think I'm just gonna drop her old sword. Uh, but we're gonna she's gonna keep using a bow for now until she needs it. Uh, I need to try like uh, backstabbing with her more or something because she has a backstab bonus, so I should try doing that more efficiently. Also, I make her carry all the all the shinies because she's a thief, and I I thought she'd appreciate it. And I carry all the, all the spell scrolls and all the quest items, <laughs> so my inventory is always full. Maybe actually, I'm going to give the belt to. Khalid's gonna keep the, I don't know, do I need this items? What is it this all right, I'm a, I'm a low key nervous, cause I'm just gonna get exploded. So many places I would rather be. Yeah, me too, man. It shall be as you wish. Oh, there's more monsters right out our door. Um, yes. How may I be of assistance? I'm gonna go for the kobold along Nature with Jahira and Khalid and Minsk are gonna go for the skeleton. She's ranged, so she's gonna go for him as well. Let's give him a right nice. What is it you have but to arm? Oh, I do, and so I do have to uh, back out. Uh, but we did. Oh. So this time I didn't collapse that tunnel that we discovered. So I might be able to use this to shortcut myself back to Nashko. A uh, dark one says I have the soundtrack of Kingdom Two Crowns playing, and it's so sweet and calm. Kingdom Two Crowns. Oh, I know that video game. Yeah, it's the sequel to uh, the Kingdom game, uh, but it's like. Is the game co-op or you just play as the king and the queen? It it is a it is a very like strange uh, idea for a game. Like when I first saw it for the first time, because it's like two D, but like or like almost it's almost one dimensional. You can only go left and right, no up and down. Oh no! Oh no no no! <laughs> I almost got one shot in by a gray goose. Okay. Note to self: put me and Emwyn in the back. <laughs> okay. I know you're doing God's work, uh, Jahira, but focus over here. Heal me, please. Hopefully, I won't die. I just quick saved, but. Everyone else attack. Oh, that was close. I think he missed me. Alright, nice. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Everyone yell. Ooh. Welcome to normal difficulty. Beep. I shall attend to it in a trice. I love that my character went, my spleen! Okay, I need to, I'm sure Jahira would love to lead. Couldn't have made a better choice. <laughs> so, so I think we're gonna take a, oh, actually, actually, I can still lead. Well, of course. But we're gonna take a protect the leader sword. formation. So Imwen, you can come back up top. And then it's at the bottom. I shall attend to it in a trice. An open oh, I don't like that. She's in the tip of the iceberg. I would plug it the point, power. I bunch. Yeah. So I this should be a proper be formation. A game that's very important like that, which I love playing the soundtrack of, is Dungeon Siege. Um, it's like a Diablo clone. Um, I shall attend to it in a trice. But... You can have up to eight, I believe, com uh, party members. So it's like mass Diablo clone. I don't know. It's very unique. Uh, and it's... <laughs> what is that? It's just a knoll. Please be alone. Uh, I'm going to cast a spell. I should have cast armor on myself. Nice. Uh, do it again. 
He's coming for me! Ah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Why did he want to kill me? <laughs> he knew. He's like, this This dude looks... He looks... Squishy. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, man. This was supposed to be a chill game. Uh, I can skip the carnival and go straight to... What is that? Fire Wine Bridge. Huh. It's a discover I've heard... It's a location I've heard of. Oh, thank you, Sharp Shadow. Yes, I was saying something about Dungeon Siege. Okay, we didn't get waylaid, which is nice. The journey took 10 hours. Uh, 16 hours. How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it in a truck. So, Dungeon Siege. Um, it's super important to my... Uh, child, I played it like countless hours. Um, I finished it a few times, which is like a really long. I think it's like 40 hours, and I finished it like twice and a half. And all the multiplayer module as well, which I played alone because we didn't have internet when I was a kid. Um, and I play the music in the Twitch chat plays. Uh, Twitch chat plays D and D streams, uh, which is next Friday, by the way. Um, and yeah, you can have like big party and formation is really important. You have a lot of people to manage. So it's like a, like a Diablo game, but like you have a big group and like formations are important. I don't know. I think it's like a, a really cool concept and I love the mood of the game. It feels very, I don't know, feels like my childhood. You have but to ask. Hello there. So this woman, sorry, this is a time jump. I did this in my other playthrough that brought me to the same spot. Um, she... Uh, we broke into her house <laughs> and she asked us, uh, we told her we were going in, uh, to the mines and she told us that her husband uh, works at the mines and she was really worried about him and she asked us to just check up on him. Uh, she didn't have a, an easy way to describe him to us so she just told us that he was wearing his wedding ring on his left hand and it's a green stone gem ring which we found on a corpse so we found this green green stone ring but i'm afraid we think he's dead he's he's dead my joseph is dead yep and we're taking ring his ring as payment for telling you the bad news bye now <laughs> bye now oh boy um we're very sorry for your pain here have this ring to remember him with Wow, harsh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me the news. Oh, she seems a little bit excited. Maybe his will was looking kind of thick. Uh, the party has lost an item. Joseph Greenstone ring. Please give me XP. Nice. Hello there. Who leveled up? Oh, Imwen leveled up. Let me out. You have but to ask. Oh, I have an interesting bit of information to tell you guys. Uh, but first, we're going to level You're up. Queer fellow. Imwin, which I believe at level two we get nothing. <gasps> no, we get to improve her uh, skills. So we got 20, 25 points to assign. Um, and during the my replay, I tried to steal shit as her. And her open lock skill sucks. So... I don't really care much for her sneaking and pick. I don't want to steal directly from people. I just want to loot stuff. Um, find traps. Plenty was, was plenty good enough. We're going to leave it at, at 35. Um, yeah. Hide in shadows. Set traps. Move silently. We're, we're going to get they're 35 by default. So I think it's plenty good enough for now. I just want to be able to open and steal and yoink everything. So we're going to go up to 50. Joe's dead. Rings ours now. <laughs> no, Sharp Shadow. <laughs> we're we're goody two shoes. What is it this okay. Time? This is a little bit bizarre, but do you remember Edwin? That was like here, and he asked us to kill uh Dina here, which is um Minsk wanted to rescue. So Minsk is uh, the witch Dina here. Minsk was captured and Minsk wants to rescue her. He, he needs our help to rescue her. 
And this guy was like, no, 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 no. Let's kill her instead. So essentially we can choose between Minsk and Edwin. Uh, because she's a witch, so there's a bit of gray area, but mostly Edwin's evil. Um, and I discovered that Edwin is like one... Because this game's old. It's like a 98. And Edwin was... Um, I think it's Obsidian Entertainment. It was like, he's like their first LGBTQ character. Like, ever. I thought that was really interesting. Um, so, like, I it like it wasn't exactly well handled <laughs> because it was a long time ago. <laughs> so, maybe problematic in some aspects, but they tried. <laughs> so, make it gay. Actually, uh, well, he was... The, the, uh, they were trans so edwin uh is a woman make him evil but no he was he you know the, the alignments it's not it's a little more nuanced than that but um the it, it was like a, i have to be careful the way i explain it but it, it was the first in the first character that went through a journey like this uh because they they present him they present as a him but beca becomes a she so it was like one of the very, very early characters that did this. Yeah, it, it, it's yes. You it's still a character boss. that it like is meant for the player to have in their party and interact with. But yeah, they put it in the evil side of the campaign. Thank you, Ellen. Hearts in chat. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, well, actually two locations. We're going to have to talk to Baron to report what we discovered. And also, there's a temple right here, and I want to get some stuff identified for a stupid sum of money. Stand away, citizen! You have returned! It would seem I was right to trust you. The town thank you wholeheartedly, and is pleased to give you the proper reward. Please take this 900 gold for your efforts. It's a small fortune by anyone's standard. Thank you again. I also found this vial of liquid on one of the kobolds in the mines. I think it might have something might have something to do with the iron. Hmm. I'm no master of metals, but you might want to show that to Thunderhammer up in Baragost. He might know a little more. Drink <laughs> drink the forbidden soup. No, Ellen. <laughs> Again, thank you for all you've done. Camaraderie, adventure, and steel on steel. The stuff of legend. Right, hey. Boo? Hell yeah, Minsk. Good on you if you save the day. Thanks, Emuen. You have but to ask. We'll also try to sell all the shit we stole. Okay. So we have a ring. Oh, it's so expensive. I think I have... That can't be my money. I have 2,000 gold. God damn. Okay. Thank you very much for that. No, I'm not identifying those arrows. Hell no. Ah, oh, his weapon broke. I might need to get him a new weapon. Okay, done. It shall be as you wish. Let's check up on Khalid. Because his weapons keep breaking. Get out of here. So he's got two spare longswords, so he should be okay. He's also our resident uh, arrow collector. Okay, I know this from my previous playthrough, but there's something really weird here. Because you can look at the graves. A bard of sorts, with skills in rhymes and reason, made the words come clear. He gladly wrote for all to hear, and therein lies the rub, my friend. He is his. He set his starts too far from. He set his starts too far from ends. So less is more is, or go unheard. A lesson learned. Too bad I'm dead. <laughs> I know there's a ghost here. Is all I know. And you could fight the ghost. It's like one of the tombs, and I don't know which one. I thought it was this one. I thought it was the bard. Like, plays one last prank on you. 
but the ghost is really strong, so I'm not gonna. Punch the ghosts! I'm going to rest. I am death, come for thee. Surrender, and thy passage shall be quicker. Never mind, I'm not going to rest. Nimble. What? I'm not surrendering to anything. Struggle if you must, dead one. I'm... Struggle if you must, dead one. I do not mind working for my money. Damn. Why, Nimble... <laughs> He's the first name of the third person. Why, Nimble has been hired to deal with the likes of you. I'll never know. I wonder if anyone's going to help me. Okay. I'm gonna cast a spell. What is it this time? Bah. For the fallen! Oh, shit. Hey, Rasad's helping us, even though he's not in our party. Thanks, Rasad. This dude took, like, no damn. Oh, magic. Magic missile is really great against mirror image because it auto hits, so it gets rid of the mirror image. The mirror images. Let's do it again. So he feared them, I think. Um, Imuin, Minsk, and Khalid are feared. But Jahira's on it. So I got rid of all his uh, mirror image. Oh, that's not looking too good. Imuin, where are you going? Am I out of spells? Yes. I'm out of bullets. I need to buy more bullets. I am out of spells. I might use a bit of my spell uh, my spell wand. Yeah, they'll just... <laughs> they'll... Bye, bitch! <laughs> Adventuring career over! <laughs> Sucks to suck! Please don't die. I'm... Uh... Consume. She did. Oh, wait, nope. Never mind. Where are you going? Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I can clutch it. Clutch it. Oh, she's running. You know what, girl? You do that. Oh, wait, no, maybe she's feared. What level is he? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Okay, should we reload? I think we have to reload. Because she's dead. What's quick load? I need, I need a quick load. Okay, we're playing on normal. We'll try again, okay? Let's be careful. Rasai hopefully will do a little bit better, and maybe we'll be... We should split up. So... If fear is an AoE, which it appeared to be, uh, it won't hit everyone. Quick save here. Oh, I just got scared seeing him. So I'm going to... Hey, I'm going to put <laughs> Emo in here. Uh, I don't want my tanks to get feared. Maybe I'll... What is it you have he just needs to see me. Ah, uh, we're split. Well, my passage shall be quicker. I will show you justice. <laughs> Thank Rasan. You go, man. Okay, she's going to. We're gonna go How for it. There's a scroll on the ground, I just realized. Maybe I dropped it, actually. Okay, so he cats cast mirror image uh, right before we cast our magic missile, which is good. 
I think Imoid is in range. Kalit should really be first, because he's a little bit more tankier than she is. Uh, before they waste, waste too much of their time. Actually, I think his last mirror image is gone. That's pretty lucky. And he's gonna fear them. He dropped concentration! Rasat says, You should not make a habit of picking fights in the street, my friend. Be careful when inviting danger into your life, for it comes all too willingly. Bro, I just woke up and people wanted to kill me. Who are you? Thank you for asking. My name is Vasat. I am merely demonstrating some of the ways in which we Sun Soul monks reflect our spiritual light through physical activity. May I tell you more about the Order of the Sun Soul? Now might not be the best time, Rasad. No, I don't have time for this. May Selune bless you on your travel. You as well, my friend. Why you suppose I have come not to fight? This is the same discussion they've had before. Good for you, Rasad. It is not always easy. You seem like someone who would appreciate the tenets of my order. Not now. Farewell. Farewell. Until we meet again, we walk in the I believe Rasad is uh, DLC, but in the enhanced edition, he just comes by default. Okay, I think everyone deserves sleep, and then we'll head to Baragost. That fight went a lot better. At low levels, there's so many save or die, like the fear. Making it like a, a, a 2v... <laughs> well, I guess 2v1. No, it was 6v1. Oh, I should also sell my stuff and then I'll sleep. Never mind, I need to go to the general store. So I'm just going to sleep. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked... But now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you, and though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. Mm -hmm. A whisper follows as you stride away. Something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Spooky. <laughs> oh! Somebody leveled up! Yeah. I love this. Uh, <laughs> you ever play D and D with me? I love doing uh, dream sequences. I love dream sequences. So, I'm not saying this was an inspiration, but some inspiration. Oh, I think you. Oh no, Imwin. Dual class. Are you sure you want to dual class this character? No. I have to look into that off stream. How that works. Because I have no idea how it works and I don't want to break her. I think maybe the tree, which is the quest update. 
Uh, but yeah, Ellen said every fight could be your last when you are at the beginning. No HP to spare. Yeah, and the the fight that didn't go well, uh, he targeted Jahira, which she has like she leveled up. She has double the HP, so like he would have flattened anyone else. Like it's a good thing he went for her. How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it. All right. Hopefully they have enough money to buy all the shit I have. I shall attend to it. Business has been poor, but with the iron shortage and all. Yeah, show me a, show me a pretty bit of gold, and you can have anything in the store. All right. So I'm going to sell sleep color spray web. <laughs> the moon blade is worth nothing, and I can't sell it to him. Uh, oh, I forgot to check with the ring and the... I just realized the ring is worth 5,000 gold. Um, I'm gonna sell blindness, armor... Oh, should I? I should. I feel like I should maybe keep some of those. I'll, I'll keep blindness because it's really good for boss fights. Infravision I don't need, charm person I don't need. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Colcat's family amulet because that's a, the same as the... The greenstone ring it's a quest well I'm, you know what uh, sharp shadow i don't i'm kind of like i joked about selling it but like i, I it's a fucking plus three moon blade about elves becoming lords i mean it's not a proper system of uh government but it, it's still cool <laughs> sticking with the plus three end yeah <laughs> Man, we're rich. I could buy full plate. I am tempted to to get at least one set of full plate. Should I do it? I could try to steal it. <laughs> what the hell? I think I'm gonna do it. But I think for now, we're all good. To no sharp shadow, I'm not stealing it. <laughs> we could buy an extra two-handed sword. It's not crime. Ellen says it's not crime if you're saving the world. <laughs> the greater good. But until I know what the hell I'm doing, I'm not really saving the world. Or at least I don't know that yet. I'm just trying to figure out who I am as a person, actually. And if I'm a thief, then it's not really worth it. Well, I mean, unless it's Imoen, then it's totally worth it. You know what? Let's just... Okay, I let's just test it. I'm going to save. Let's just see how it what happens. I care not. I'm gonna try to do it with him. Customer is always right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What what should I steal? Oh, she can't. Oh, that's me. Is he talking to me? Oh no, that is that is her. Okay. Uh, let's see if she can steal something. What should we steal, guys? I feel like I don't know if it matters if I should steal something small. Everything. <laughs> I actually don't know if it affects the difficulty. Let's say I regret selling sleep. I'm gonna steal it. Stand away, citizen. This is the most like, like Elder Scrolls thing ever. We represent. The, they like teleport in the store. We present the Council of Six. You are accused of thievery and must surrender yourselves to the mercy of the law. Die, pond scum! <laughs> we can bribe them for 200 gold. Yeah, stop right there, criminal scum. We can bribe them for 200 gold, but some of the shit we steal is like 800 gold. So it is technically good to steal and then just bribe them off. But we're, we're gonna kill him. What is it this time? Oh shit! Wait, all right, Imwin. Uh, go backstab. No, Imwin, go backstab. She can't reach. Never mind. Target fire. This fight's not going bad at all. G 
Damn! What's this sound? I Achievement! I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got an achievement unlocked called Villain. My entire party gone. Because I'm, I'm officially a villain, even though they did the killing. Well, guys, that's what happens. You done did crime now. <laughs> and I just quick save over. <gasps> oh no! So, yes, yeah, so your party is limited by your alignment. So killing a bunch of guards is enough to classify you as a villain. No stealing. Guess they regret their their action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How may I be able to sure? They just don't want to be associated with me. Okay, before I uh, equip uh, Khalid with a plate mail, um, let's look at Talos, Tal the the magic items we identified. Boots of grounding. Untold years ago, the fortress of Starspire Peninsula was placed under the direct torment of Talos when a favored storm herald was murdered there. Talos promised the destruction of the city by earthquakes, its isolation by tidal waves, and the death of its citizens by storms. Damn, this dude has no chill. One pair of these boots was bestowed to ensure that none but a single man would survive to tell the story of his wrath. Later, travelers seeking fortune in the ruined city came upon an aged man maddened by the continuous destruction around him. The boots he wore would carry to many a distant land the legend of a city consumed by a god's rage. These boots are way too epic to just have electrical resistance. Uh, Don't mind me, I'll wear them. Honorary Ring of Sune. Ring of Holiness, Honorary Ring of Sune. Ring of this type were given to faithful priests of Sune who demonstrated actions of astounding integrity and kindness. And it's not usable by... Bard, Fighters, Mage, Monk, Paladin, Ranger, Thief, Barbarian. It doesn't say it's not usable by Sorcerers. But it's a Divine spell, so I'm assuming you have to be a Cleric or... Right? Maybe mage. I don't know. Oh, she can wear it. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. When she leveled up, we forgot to um, tell her what spell she could memorize. Okay, so we're gonna get three cure wounds. Let's doom. Uh, this spell causes a feeling of doom to overwhelm a target for the duration of the spell. The target sees a of to all rolls. Okay, nope, not entangle. Not oh, Shillelagh could be good because she's using a club. Oh, create a magical cudgel. Ellen says doom is just a relatable mood. In this day and age, bring on the, I mean, bring on the iron shortage. I just make the plague stop and literally everything else. Um, I think some bless because it affects the entire party. So I can give a party buff. I'm going to give at least one bless. Doom is mood backwards, says Sharp Shadow. <laughs> you, you, five head, you know what I'm saying? Hashtag blessed. Um... It affects the entire party. So going into like a boss fight, it just bless everyone. And it will make the fight easier. The morale. It raises their attack and damage roll by one. So this is like objectively better. And it it lasts six rounds. So it has to be done in a fight. Or like as it starts. Because six rounds is not a lot. I might be a, a simpleton and go for another cure light wounds. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Doom in Final Fantasy kills you, but Doom in Baldur's Gate makes you just feel bad. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it simple. Oh, yeah, she's going to give that armor to Khalid. His armor class is zero. Thacko is weird, man. Some merchants have uh, enchanted shit, but he does not. So we're going to go talk to the what blacksmith in Baragoth, ask him about the vial of Strange Liquid, it and we're going to maybe buy some cool shit. I just realized this. I, I should have looted him. I just left his stuff on the ground. Um, he's got boots, ring, a letter. Find familiar! Another short sword that's enchanted. Throwing axe and gold. Let's read the letter. Nimble. The money you have received from Transig. Not Tarok. Transig. Was it, was it Tarok or Transig who like hired Mulahe to kill us? No, not to kill it. To, to poison the iron. So it is connected. They, so the, the people who are poisoning or paying people to poison the iron are also paying people to kill us. So we are connected to the iron shortage somehow. <laughs> Sharp says, I just had the urge to control S life. Weird. I have the urge to control Z life, Sharp Shadow. <laughs> That's my mood. Uh, your assignment is a difficult one, but I'm sure you are up for the, to the task. There is a group of mercenaries who should be coming through Nashville in the next few days. They are led by a whelp uh, named Remy. You are to kill Remy and all that travel with him. I warn you, they might not look like much but they are very dangerous. He like calls me a whelp, and then he's like, but he's a dangerous whelp. Oh. The money you have received from Transig should cover your usual fee. Yours truly, Tazok. So it's both of them. I don't know who Transig is. I'll... I'll sell. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Let, let's travel. I shall attend to it in a trice. We'll do uh, identification and selling uh, in Baragast. Onward to adventure! Baragast is 12 hours away. And I don't have to go through everything. And we didn't get way late. That's pretty good. Where am I? Oh. The Jovial Juggler, Firebrand Elven Hare's house, Fiddlepost Inn. Fiddlepost Inn is where Tazok is said to be residing. So I kind of want to go for the Thunder Hammer Smith guy uh, shot to talk to him about the um, the vial of Strange Liquid. The stuff of legend, right, Boo? Oh, that one. you kid <laughs> did you hear that this kid said i smelled i just like fought a knoll okay give me a break it's also medieval times and i haven't had a bath in 12 months oh it's elminster the old man who seemed to know too much well now our paths cross once more i suppose proper introductions are in order as we will no doubt meet again my name is elminster I've heard nothing but tales of thy exploits in the time we have been apart. He's heard tales people talk about us. It would seem that thou art destined to have quite the impact on the Sword Coast. Quite the burden for one so young. Actually, I have no idea how old I am. <laughs> it's the Gnoll Stank, not mine. Yep, totally. Um, yeah, I was not aware that my actions were common knowledge. Perhaps not common knowledge, but everything is plain for those that know where to look. As it is, I am aware of thine efforts and accomplishments. Thou art quite adept, as Garayans predicted. All that remains is to determine motive. I have a suspicion that this old man's a wizard and he's been doing some scrying. Garayan, you knew him, but you said nothing before. "'Twas neither the place nor the time for such thing. As painful as the circumstance may have been, it was time for thee to forge thy own path. One of the most valuable lessons that life has taught me. 
is when not to go sticking my pipe in other people's affairs. Such is the case now as well. But you could tell me so much about Gorion and myself alike. Please, stay a while. I fear I cannot, because too much exposition would ruin the game progression. <laughs> Self-discovery is best left to the self, and all thy questions will be answered in time. I will offer a small tidbit of information, though thou hast likely heard the same from another source already. The bandits that thou dost seek make a habit of traveling in the northeast. A search in that direction will no doubt yield fruitful results. With this, I shall take my leave. So the dream we had of the forest and a path opening for us might be in that direction. What does this kid want? Remy, Re how does Chloe know my name? Someone in the jovial juggler gave me a gold piece to come find you. <laughs> Slow down, breathless child. Who is tossing money about in hopes of finding me? Her name's Officer Vi. Vi? 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 And she's with the flaming fist. And you needn't worry. She's real nice. Hmm. By the way, child, how did you know my name? Why, everyone here is talking about you. Oh, oh no. You're the ones who's, who's, whew, you're the ones who saved the Nashco mines. My mama said that even though we don't like those folks from Am, there's no reason anyone should have to suffer so. I believe Am is the region south of Baldur's Gate. So that's where Nashco is technically considered to be. Well, that's us, I guess. You've got a good eye. Now, who is this person that wants so much to see us? Her name's the Fist of I, and she's with the Flaming Fist. The Flaming Fist were like doofus. I remember they were trying to arrest us for like highway robbery, but we were just like walking. And you need. Okay, so. Okay, thank you, child. You earned your gold piece. Good. You folks are real nice. Mama says the Sword Coast needs some real heroes these days. Timora be with you, okay? Very nice. So we're gonna hit the, the jugglers uh, in on the way to Fettel Post Inn. And I believe this is Thunderhammer Smithy, so we can talk to him first. This is nice. The story has like a really good pace, I feel. Where's this dude? I attend to it in a trice. Is no one here? Maybe it's late? Huh, you're a I've done had enough of this. Maybe anyone can steal? Nice. That's a lot of swords! I can steal all his weapons and sell them back to him. She's just gonna go unlock this shit. And then someone stronger is going to pick it up. Lockpick failed! Nice! A plus... Uh, an enchanted bastard sword. I don't know where Thunderhammer is. I guess he's sleeping. Cool. So, Khalid, what's your strength like? 15, 15. They're all... Wait. I don't know what that number means. He has like 18 slash 93. Is that because his hamster is a giant space hamster? So he's like a god tier level strength. Uh, but you are carrying nothing. So how about you? If none are better. Nope, not you. I put cool. mints to steal all the shit. That is one small, swole hamster. Indeed, Ellen. Yoink. Okay. I guess we should ask. sleep and come back later. Let's go to the um, to the inn, which is right here, I believe. It's really cool that we start hearing the music as we approach the inn. Can I assist you? I think I'm gonna stop quick saving for a while just in case. <laughs> uh, ah, Remy, I thought it might be you. 
The southern parts are set quite afire with talks of your work in Nashville. I'm Officer Vi of the Flaming Fist, and to be honest, I could use your help. I care not with your name and title, Officer Vi. The, the word of the Flaming Fist may be the law in these parts, but the, but the extent of that law stops within the reach of my blade. <laughs> Damn, boy. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck up to her. Uh, I'm honored to be found worthy of your sir of your notice, officer. <laughs> Senpai, uh, how may I be of assistance? My contingents and I are cut off from Baldur's Gate. We haven't received new orders for close to a week, and to be honest, I don't like the feel of it at all. The bandits' raids have been getting worse since you returned from Nashkiel. I used to think that they were just your usual brigands out to make a quick buck in the troubled times, in troubled times, but not anymore. They're working for someone. One way or another, I've got to get my troops back to the gate. I'll pay 50 gold pieces for every bandit scalp. <sighs> I want some Nazi scalps! <laughs> uh, any scalps you can bring me and spread the news. I want this whole region cleared before winter comes. Damn! And dialogue. Okay, bandit scalps. Whew. Anyone interesting here? There's Bjornin. He has a funny name. We'll talk to him. Stop moving. Yes. Yes. They did quite a number on me, those half ogres. There's a band of them fortifying themselves in the mountains south southwest of here. If you could give them a taste of justice, that would do me proud. There's a side quest. I might not uh, go tussle with some half ogres. Who's the bartender? Who can I talk to? Have a snooze. Oh, I think I see him. This inn's nice. Look at the look at the stairs. Timber far enough without ye bother on me. What the hell, Girk? Aye, so everyone's heard. Everyone's a robber neck then. Is that it? Oh, Girk had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a batch of paltry tasloy. I'm like afraid I'm like saying slurs I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, it's old news. And if you make one crack about the cloakwood being an appropriate place to lose it, at least I'll put your liver on the menu. My spleen! <laughs> now move on and let the next people in line have their laugh. Okay, so in Cloakwood, which I believe is the area to the northeast we need to visit, uh, we if we find his cloak, we know where to bring it. I got some cheap beer for ya. I think we're gonna have a snooze here instead of the Federal Post Inn. Do we need to snooze? I'm gonna snooze. You were startled out of sleep with a chill, though the night is warm and calm. It is though someone has walked across your grave, and for a moment, you wonder if it was you. With this thought, the ground what? beneath you opens, and you are swept into the dark. When light returns, you do not find its presence comforting. Before you lay the empty mines of Nashkel, cleansed by your previous passage, you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper until a bloated figure comes into view. Mullahay, in no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. He's haunting Held me. From whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death and knows no hope. You hmm. turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead. You need not inflict any more upon him. Surprised and thankful, the visage of Malahe hobbles forward and through you, off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills a space within you. A dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. There is a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air, 
your heart, its target. You awake just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. A disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. I think this is very interesting, because I think it's all like metaphor for inner conflict. I wonder if this dialogue is different if you are playing uh, evil by them, like an evil campaign. Because your character is like making choices. That's like he's a good guy. Hmm. Let's look into that. Did I, did I sleep? I assumed I sleep. I can check if I have spells. Yeah, okay, I slept. I'm rested. It shall be as you wish. I would go with Imwin upstairs and just steal from everyone, but I don't know if that'd be so interesting. Okay, let's go check on the store to see if uh, Mr. Thunderhammer is awake and could uh, buy uh, all the blades we stole from him. Good on you if you save the day. There they are. Theron Fee help Free Rim? Free Rim? Whatever. I shall attend to it in a trice. Kiss me, Blarney. What you wish done? Hello there. Is there anything I can do for you on this fine day? I've just come from Nashkill. I found this vial on one of the kobolds lurking in the mines. I think it might be what's causing the iron to break. You found it just like that. Well, that certainly does illuminate things, doesn't it? I thought maybe you could use it to find a way to reverse the effects. He's not a scientist. He's a smithy. I couldn't know, but I know someone who can. Oh, chain those quests. Give me a few days, and I should have some results. Oh, never mind. He's going to take care of He's going to go himself. He's going to go on a quest now. I should return to Thunder Hammersmithy in a couple of days. Wow, that's a timed quest. That's interesting. To see if Tyron... I should return to Thunder Hammersmithy in a couple of days to see if uh, Terom has found a way to re reverse the effect of the kobold's poison. Interesting indeed. Uh, now buy all my shit that I stole. I shall attend to it in a trice. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Me competition? I love his voice. For a wee little bit more than me competition. Uh, I got 20 throwing axes. Uh, they only sell for one gold each. Well, that's interesting. Before it's identified, short swords are still worth just one gold. Now, will he buy all the shit I stole from him? The two-handed swords. Actually, I'm going to keep one. Because Minsk uses two-handed swords. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> God damn it. I was confused uh, if I had slept. Because it returned me to the same menu after the cutscene. So Ellen is like, is is this sleep? Remy would not know. It's going to be a running gag. I just, just, I never sleep. I only meditate. Oh, he can identify things. Let's do it. Why not? Wait, can he, he can't identify the ring. Oh, because he's not a priest. <laughs> just let the psychosis set in. Boots of avoidance. Senses of the cat. The magic of these boots was specifically designed to detect incoming missiles and aid the wearer in avoiding them. They were originally commissioned by the instructor of an archery academy who had, who had tired of suffering accidents at the hand of his inexperienced students. Nice. Uh, plus five versus missile attack. So I think we're going to give that to Imwin because she tends to be ranged. Oh, and then also a short sword. Uh, it's another plus one short sword. I think I'm just going to sell them. Uh, he has a plus one mace. Burl's retort. He has a plus one short bow. And I can just afford it. Okay, I'm 
He has a lot of plus one darts as well, but I went sling, so I'm very tempted on the short bow. Oh, he has a plus one sling. That's ah, oh, I mean, but then I have a. I need the plus one sling for myself. That's that's a. I can't not buy that. Oh man, this good. This guy's got good stuff. Some oh wow. Some enchanted arrows, even some enchanted bolts. But the enchanted bolts are way too expensive. He's got some plus one shields. Oh man. Shat. Whoa. He's selling shadow armor for 14,000. The army scythe. Holy crap. Dagger of venom. Oh man, that's fucking classic, bro. No, Ellen. We learned our. I thought we learned our lesson. I showed you what it was like to steal. I, I, it doesn't even give me the option. I guess I have to be Imwen. No, I can't even steal it. There's no steal option. There's no steal option. What do you want me to click, girl? Because uh, there says, still, at least you can buy some stuff as opposed to Divinity where you can't afford anything. Ah, oh, Divinity. I wonder... Hacks that shit. <laughs> no, we're playing straight. <laughs> um, I am curious of how they're going to handle... Uh, because Larian Studios are the game de uh, the developers who did Divinity, well, all the Divinity games, I believe, at least the original Sin ones, and they are the developers on Baldur's Gate three. So they are playing. It's not their system. I think is really, really good. It's super fun. But they are going like full into fifth edition for Baldur's Gate three. So it's not their system, but it is their team. So I. I I'm nervous. I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wonder how they're going to pull it off. With, with the pressure of having to do 5th edition and all of D&D's rule set. And then, you know, their creativity. I hope they'll, they'll have enough room to play with. Okay, so I got the plus one sling. Because that's just too good to pass. I want to give Imwen a plus one short bow. But now I need to sell enough stuff. I mean, she hardly uses her short sword. I could sell her short sword and get her a bow. Less stab, more pew pew. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Because everyone else is, is melee. So if I keep her ranged, I really want to get her that, that weapon. Uh, maybe I'll just return to him. I couldn't pass up the sling. So I'll give the boots uh, to Imwin in Consolation. That's the Enchanted Bastard Sword. I need to get that check because maybe it'll give me the money needed uh to to buy it be proud of your actions i don't know why I everyone tend to everyone's it. happy what did, what did i do grind would be proud okay federal post in time so he didn't get mad so i'm gonna quick save oh there's a thing here silky Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, Vespin Extraordinaire. Excuse me, but I must ask that you leave me be. I'm waiting for someone and do not wish to be distracted. Hmm, I wonder who is he waiting for. Kazur asks, I take it you're a fan of the Diablo series as well. Well, a fan. They're good games. Um, I enjoyed two a lot. It was really good. Good, good. Um, three, I enjoy playing with friends. That was fun. But generally, like, this style of game, like, e even the old Dungeon Siege games I said were Di Diablo clone. And, like, I played a lot of Torchlight. I played Dungeon Siege. I played Diablo. I played uh, Grim Dawn and P uh, Path of Exile. Um, and I'm, there's not a lot of innovation. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little tired. I don't like them as much as I used to, I'll say. But they're good games. Two is good. I love two. Two has good mood. And you know, necromancy for the win. You! Hey, you! Yes, you! I don't see anybody else around here. A little help, please? I find it quite uh, funny, quite comical that the DLC characters are all fully voice acted. Well, that helps me because I won't need to voice her. <laughs> Of course, what do you need? There's bandits. Vicious, magic bandits. They must have gone to advanced bandit school or something. They're trying to capture me. Damn. 
Uh, very well, I shall defend you from these bandits. My hero. Now where are the rest of your men hiding? <laughs> I'll be honest, I was betting on you having a legion of soldiers because you'll need it and... Oh goodness, they're here! This is the guy standing right behind me. Advanced bandit school. <laughs> Cutscene! Just place me behind her. Look at this so, dude! He would try to hide from us behind this unfortunate fool. Your cowardice proves as deadly as your reckless magic. Reckless magic. You're the one trying to capture me! And I still don't know what you want, so I'd rather not let it happen. Get out of here before me and my new friends decide to eject a fist into your mouth. Her voice sounds so familiar. You there. Stand aside and give me the girl. Surely you won't risk your life for a stranger. Give the child. Pay away the debt. <laughs> yeah, I won't let you harm her. By what right do you hunt this woman? By my right as a wizard of fame. We must study her anomalous power. Whether or not she comes with me. That's not very convincing. He just wants to study her. Let me guess. By study, you mean dissect. You shall not be privy to my methods. It is none of your concern, and she is a danger to both herself and others. Hand her over now, or I shall cut you down. Damn. He might not like my race. It also wasn't voice acted. Come and take her, if you dare. If you wish to die for this He's really to kill any bystander. This dude's fucked. So be it. Away with you, you pompous creep. Oh. Not again. Kendall, where did you go? We can't let her escape. Slaughter them all, and we'll sort this out once we find him. So, she's a chaos wizard. Like, wild magic stuff. That's why they want to kill her, because she's just a walking time bomb. But, you know, it's her right to be a walking time bomb, goddammit. He's super... Oh, bad, bad feels. Bad, bad vibes. Don't... No touchy, please. Okay. Oh, they're fucked. Look at them. Wait, where did she go? I think she went in, like, an alternate dimension. And now there's just these three doofus. Fan and some... Bodyguard. Okay. Who's that? Oh, the nearest still here. Cool. Yes. Yes. I will just use my sling for this fight. I'm What's thinking. You, you have need of me. Nature servant. Are those commoners? Oh, they are. Wait, is that Minsk? Why are you doing all the way back here, Minsk? So I'll try to distract them all. Uh, and then with my other characters, I will focus fire the wizard. My blade will cut you down to size. Very nice. Let's talk about a fight. <sighs> what is it this time? Oh, damn, she just cast Burning Hands. So burning Hands in this game is not an AoE, strangely enough. It's a single target spell. I'm really sorry about what just happened. I didn't want to involve you, but if I hadn't run into you when I did, they'd be elbow deep in my brains right now. <laughs> the last thing that would go through her mind would be her kneecaps. <laughs> yeah, what will you do now? I'm surely Ekendor will return at some point. Since you were kind enough to save me from those wizardly thugs, I was wondering if I could stay with you for a while. For your protection, as well as mine. I swear, I'm quite a skilled spellcaster. I can hurl a fireball like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, for precisely that, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Uh, I want to keep Minsk in my party, and I might do his side quest. So, she's also like, she just slings spells like there's no, like AoE spell, like there's nobody's business. So I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm the wizard. I'm the sorcerer. Well, that's disappointing. I was all worked up to go on an adventure, and now you've left me to die in the wilderness. See? I guess I'll head back M to the She's manipulative. Room. Hopefully we'll run into each other when you're feeling less heartless. It's either I do what she wants or I'm heartless. That's don't go and talk into toxic relationship, guys. That was the quickest way to fill a post in. You have but to ask. Can I not? 
Why are they going all the way around? That's strange. I don't know what Silky is about. I thought this was the encounter, but I guess it wasn't. Okay, let's go confront Tazok. Wait, sorry, who was that? Garrick. Garrick sounds familiar. Hello there. I have a pretty proposal for you. Hello there. Hey, adventurers. I have a proposal for you. I have heard that you're on an excelling group of warriors. How would you like a well-paying job as bodyguards for my mistress? Um, I just want to know what he's about, but I don't think I'm going to accept it. I'm Garrick, and I work for... S oh, Silky. That was just a woman over there. And I work for Silky Rosena. She's the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, in fact, she's to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's done. However, she's been having some problems of late. Some thugs have been hired by Fettlepost by Fettlepost to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at his inn when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up. What's with a villain like Fettlepost running the place? She needs a mercenary to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about 300 gold. What do you say? So, okay, I I think I'm going to take this mission. Um but I'm going to take the mission when I'm ready to go to Baldur's Gate. So I will go to Cloakwood. Uh, I will go hunt bandits and get some Nazi scalps. Um, and then I might grab her if the, if the quest is still available. So it'll be like, oh, well, I'm going to Baldur's Gate anyway. Let's, let's go. Let's go, bitch. Wait, should I accept and then cancel the quest? Uh, Sharp Shadow says, Nira is played by Nicola Elbro. She's not in much, according to IMBD. You know who she reminded me of? I don't remember her name, but if you're familiar with Critical Role, she was a guest in the campaign, and she played a Asimar cleric. I think she was. Her voice is, like, very similar. That's why. I, that's what, where my brain went. I'll just ask him what's up. I think you've made a good decision. Now just meet me outside the Red Sheaf Inn. This is a trap. I don't know if this is a trap. <laughs> Look at them wiggle. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, Despin Extraordinaire. So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you could find? I guess they'll have to do. You look to be worth about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrix offered you, isn't it? I offered them 300 gold, just like you told me. Well then, I assume that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I wouldn't I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. One of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the most wise of men. Someone is spinning a high tail. Maybe she gypped him and now she's like, oh, they're thugs. Here they are now. Fiddlepost's thugs strike when I tell you to. No one tells me what to do. I'm neutral good. Greetings, Silky. We're here as you've asked, and we have the... Don't try to threaten me! <laughs> He's coming right for me! <laughs> I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. Oh, she's this is about to... This is not gonna go well. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... Shut up! There'll be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now! Kill them all! <laughs> she's a psychopath. Uh, they're as good as dead. Uh, stop this madness. We won't murder those who are obviously innocent men. Our deal is off. In any case, you've probably, you're probably too coward to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. Why did she need me if she's going to kill me? Oh, d damn. Wait, is Garrick running? Where's Garrick? Garrick's like, I want none of this, man. Okay, well, we're just gonna... Oh, shit, I'm in the front. 
There's no opportunity attacks, right? Oh, she's casting a spell on me. Hi, I'm gonna cast armor on myself. She teleported? Oh, she's invisible! Oh! Oh, she killed a peasant! Oh, he fucking dead! <laughs> oh, shit! Wait. What is it this time? Is she completely invisible? Can I still slap a bitch? Oh! What the fuck? Imwin's dead! Jahir is dead too. I don't know what that spell was, but I want it. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I shall attend to it in a trice. I have a pretty proposal. If she murders us, she might be too high level. Stop this madness. Okay. I'm gonna go here. You're a queer fellow. She's gonna try. I don't know what the angle is for backstab, or if you can even uh, backstab with a bow. Some games lay you. Oh wow, Mint's got some reach. Okay, we need a we need a fucking split up. I'm gonna take all my warriors and I'm just gonna. Oh! 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 Oh no! He's got one health! That bolt of lightning is still going, by the way. I need to be real careful. Jahira, save your husband! Heal your husband. Minsk, throw your hamster at her. God damn it! How am I supposed to predict where this bolt is going? Okay. She, she's gonna cast her bolt, which is gonna one-shot us, so... <laughs> we're just gonna... We're not gonna do this <laughs> until later. I'm gonna wait for everyone to level up once, and then I'll come back to her to this bitch. Okay. You Fuck you, Garrick. God damn it. Next time, guys. Go in inside. There you go. Here now, get out. I don't like your type in here. Here now, get out. Oh, he's the same dialogue. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. What's the problem with Marl? You have but to ask. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Oh, wow. There's a, is that a taxi reference? Hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room here for troublemaking strangers. No need to get all bent out of shape. There's plenty of bar for us all. Hey, I take whatever shape I want. <laughs> I love him. I'm sick of your freakish adventures. I'm sick of you freakish adventures going out, consorting with God knows what, and dragging your trouble back into hometown. Into my hometown. What do you say to that? I just do what I think is right. We solve a lot more trouble than we cause. Well, nearly anyways. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny, do ya? You mess up the local economy with your treasure. You upset the balance of nature. You flash your magic around. And because it's of it, maybe somebody's son thinks it's a fun and goes out and gets himself killed. It's a bad example and somebody ought to kick your ass for it. Oh, damn. Sounds oddly specific. Hold on. Everyone goes their own paths, and I'll not be held accountable for what the fates deal. He was a good boy till your kind came through town. Fill his head with nonsense they did, and because of it he's dead. Now why shouldn't I take that out on your hide? If you knew him like you think, then ask yourself if he wouldn't have gone anyway. It's a calling you're born with. Nobody gives it to you. Taint true. He was going to take over the farm and settle down. 
me be apprentice with Thunderhammer during the winter. He never wanted to adventure. That's what you wanted, Marl. Fun's fun, but when you're blaming these folk for what you couldn't, for what couldn't be helped, that boy was a firebrand if if ever there was. No, he was settling down. He wanted, he wanted. That new plow ye bought last year, he got that gold from helping clear kobolds near Ulgoth's beard. He wanted uh, to make a difference, make the realm a bit safer, just like these folks, most likely. By shoddy. <laughs> shoddy? Why couldn't he just stay home? The realms call and you go. He sounds a fine he sounds a fine lad taken too soon, but doing what he was meant. If you'll suffer my company, I'll buy a round and toast his memory with you. Twould be fitting, I suppose. The Canair Nethalin To Canair Nethalin, rest ye well. I I would be alone a while. Well, Tis the calmest I've I've seen him in a week. Still, best you move along. Marl ain't known for his s steady moods. And 900 XP. Damn. Marl's loss. The writing is so good. I wish ye the best, Marl. You and your kin. Okay. Now I need to find to see if I can find Tazok. Hephis. That's the bartender, I'm assuming. What's up with Nephis? Sorry, <laughs> Hephis. <laughs> Ninety-nine tanker to veil on the wall. Ninety-nine tanker to veil. Take one down and pass it around. Ninety-eight tanker to veil on the wall. Nice. Oh, wait, that's the kitchen. Maybe he'll get angry if I go in the kitchen. But I'll try anyway after a quick save. Gillian? And the cook? Who's Gillian? Do you mind? I'm off to go shopping. Oh, my. Oh, hello. You must join me for a while. I insist. <laughs> when a lady offers a drink, how could I refuse? You do seem to be enjoying yourself, actually. Actually, that's more what I would say. Wait, ah, I'm conflicted! Sip, sip, sip. What do I say? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's play Go Getter. You are the life of the party, you are. This all reminds me of a time when Betsy and I were still. Who? I'm so silly. I don't know a Betsy. Tee hee hee. <laughs> Oh boy, she's far gone. And yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I get. My mustache on potatoes. Okay, let's see if he's upstairs and going assassin. Assassin mode activate. Transig. Motherfucker. Yeah, take your take your time. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. That is. I'll give him trouble. That is not the voice I expected. He sounds like he's from Magicka. Anyone play Magicka? I love that game. Why do you bother me? Can't you see that I'm in a hurry to get out of this damn town? Perhaps you could tell me why you're in such a hurry. I'm not gonna tell you guys anything. Get out of my face. <laughs> How old is he? Cause he sounds like he's 16. Yes, Magicka is awesome though. Um, you won't be rid of us that easily. We know you're up to no good. Now tell us everything you know. You know what I'm up to, eh? Well, maybe something you don't know about is my mage skills. You might not believe me, but if you ain't out of my face in the next five seconds, I'll blast you out of kingdoms. Come. <laughs> you? Wielding magic? We can't suspend our disbelief that much. Come along now and surrender. We'll have to hurt ya. I warned ya! 
Now you pay the price. I don't know if that was the correct dialogue option I just picked. Please don't one-shot me. How may I be of assistance? Oh, I never cast <laughs> armor on myself. For the fallen! Oh, he doesn't look too bad. What is it this time? I just... Yeah, 5v1. He didn't stand much of a chance. And my dude just like, I got this, bro! <laughs> Another wand! Nice! Yoink, 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 yoink! I should travel to Larswood or Peldvale next. I should travel to Larswood or Peldvale next. It appears that the bandits' attacks come from there and are related to the iron shortage. There should be a base hidden away. I should read the letter first before reading that. Uh, somewhere in the forest. It's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. Let's read that letter. Yes. Transig. I am perplexed. Oh, Tazak is pulling all the strings, man. I am perplexed as to why Molohe has not communicated with us in some while. You are to go to the mines and found out the condition of his operations. You are also to collect any iron that may have been stolen by the kobolds. Huh. Our next raid will most likely take place at Peldvale or Larswood. So visit either of those area and track us back to our camp. See, you know what's interesting? The bandits and the bandits stealing the iron and the kobolds damaging the iron are working for the same people or the same person. So they want to remove the iron and take any existing iron for themselves. So not only not only just disrupt the local economy, but maybe make themselves a force to be reckoned with. If no one can be, you know, no one has armor, no one has weapons, and you're all armored, all weapon, they're building an army. Oh man, I want to know what that wand does. We got Glitter Dust, which is pretty good. Actually, Glitter Dust would be really good in that fight with um, Silky because it makes people not invisible. It's like uh, Fairy Fire. Fairy Fire? Yeah, Fairy Fire. Oh, yeah, and I have two rings I need to identify. Okay, we did it, guys. Throw <laughs> Pocket Fairies! It's just like a crushed fairy I keep in my pocket. All right. I be of assistance. Ooh, I can loot. It shall be as you wish. Maybe Imoen needs to loot that. Nope, never mind. It's empty. Well, I mean, since we're here. Huh, you're a queer fellow. This way. Shh. Algernon. What you want? This is my room, and I don't want visitors. Now leave me alone. Yoink. Damn, these dudes got a lot of swords. Yoink. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See, guys, no stealing. All right. How may I be of assistance? What is it that you have but to ask? Okay. I shall attend to it okay, I'm going to do one last visit to the smithy. Wait, is there a church in town? I don't know. I know there's a house filled with spiders somewhere. Oh, wait, I don't have the, huh, you're a queer the swords. I don't need to go to the smithy. I just need to identify all this shit. Yes, you have but to ask. Okay, okay. Let's, let's gather our thoughts and decide what to do next. Let's go world map. How do I go bandit camp so we can go all the way back to the friendly arm in and try to go east from there? Oh, I remember. I remember what to do. There's a house I need to go in. I think it's this house right here. Yeah, I think we can start making our way to the bandit camp. Uh, and depending on what time it is, I might stop like right near the bandit camp. 
it's locked. What you want? How may I each other? Everyone's stuck on each other. Yeah. Guys! This time? Get a room! This way. Because there's a each person I need to week. talk to, I think, in here. It shall be as you wish. But they might not be home? This place is just abandoned. You're a queer fellow. This way. What is it this time? You have but to ask. Okay. The bath is like poured. I it in a truck. What you want? Okay, well it wasn't a complete loss. But I was hoping to find the uh Coquetlo the Coquet family um so I can give them their necklace. What is it this I shall attend to it in a trice. Man, I'm just robbing I people. To ask. I I wanted to talk to this guy. I just want the XP. I don't really care for all the had enough of this. I mean, I won't say no. I'm gonna be honest, I won't say no. Okay. Have but to I give up. You have I give up. Ask. Let's make our way out of town. Alright. Thank you guys again for tuning in to this chill stream. I hope you, you guys are Oh, that looks like an important place, actually. Let me just check if this is a... The Burning Wizard. Mm, maybe not. I was hoping for a... A temple, so I can identify stuff. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the, the story of Baldur's Gate and the writing. It's so... Such a classic. I'm certainly enjoying... I love these games so much. I just hope you are as well. What house is this? I'm afraid to go in. Let's save. Let's click on the door. It's locked. Never mind. It's just a dead body. This dude is like, oh my god, they're dead. I'm not going to loot everything. As I said, we're just going to try to go along the main quest. I discovered recently this game's not that long. So there is, depending on how often I stream this, because there's a lot of D&D &D streams uh, planned. But depending on how fa uh, on um, depending on how often I stream this, I might be able to get to at least Baldur's Gate two before Baldur's Gate three comes out. Then we'll see from there. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Okay, this seems fine. Uh, we need to get. I still. Ha I wonder if I still have armor cast on me. I think I do. Protection from electricity and magic armor. That's cool. I guess someone should put the boot, the cat boots on. Oh no, I already gave her to Im them to Imlin. I'm here. Oof, that's not good. We need to perf to form like a circle. We're gonna. I'm gonna not make them attack. I'm gonna like form a triangle with them. Yep. And then Imlin's gonna attack this guy, and then they're just going to defend. You point, I punch. You have need of me? Oh, I punch. Oh, oh, oh my god, who hit me? Yes, oh, omnipresent. Wait, those are. They, yeah, they're Gipperlings. Why are they dealing so much damage? And what are you casting, Jahira? If she casts Entangle, I'm gonna be so mad. You've attacked? Oh, she's casting Bless. That's good, actually. Then please save me. Please, please, Jahira. Oh my god, please. Uh, Khalid, take your potion. Nice! Oh my god, guys, good job. You can do it, Khalid. Someone crit. What it shall be as you guess. Oh, I'm gonna rest when I get to uh how do I do make it nope, not that. How do I cancel a spell? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a waste, but it doesn't matter. Whew, everyone got a little beat up. 
What is it this time? You have but to ask. Got a lot of goods though. That's pretty good. You cannot save at this time. Oh man. <sighs> okay. I was afraid we'd get way late again, and then that'd be bad. Be as you wish. Okay, I'm gonna go rest. I'm gonna go to the temple. Then we're ready to go on our journey. I love um. Cause I I play D I, I as you guys might know I love D and D, um, and I, I love RPGs. Um, I've been a like I've loved the game for I've loved the playing tabletop adventures for a long time. Always wanted to play, but there's not a lot of opportunities for me to play. Um, this is a new character. Oh, that's Nira. She she got back here. There's not a lot of opportunities for me to play in home games. Um, Sharp Shadow says, "You like D and D? Never would have guessed." Yeah, I think I've made it a, a little obvious. Um, but I rarely can be a player, so playing a game like Baldur's Gate in the D and D universe is like having my own DM guide me through the journey. So I thoroughly enjoy it. I don't get the chance to do this very often. I should play more RPGs. Well, I guess that's what the stream is for. Do I have anything to sell? I think uh, she could sell all the all the shit she, she stole. Oh, and now I have enough money for that plus one boat. Ugh! I'll be back in Fettel Post. I mean, I guess Baragost. Alright, let's go. And no dream this time. Shadow says, an automatic computerized DM. What will they think of next? Have you guys seen, um, what was the name? AI Dungeon? <laughs> it was just some bullshit, like, machine learning. You know, like, machine, like, an, an AI that, like, reads, like, scripts of, like, The Office episode and then can, like, <laughs> write their own? Have you, pl have you guys actually, I, tr I tested it out. I'm, I, I was a... I was maybe a little bit overly um, scrutinizing of the of the AI itself because the AI has a lot of pitfalls that you can pick up on very quickly. Um, but if you just run with it, it can be pretty entertaining. The oh hello. You have but to ask. A problem that the AI has is that <laughs> it'll just do whatever you want, and because of the way it's the writing works you can be suggestive so if you say if you type attempt to kill guard then the ai will say oh you attempt here's what append happens with your attempt and often it's failure but if you say i kill the guard then the ai will be like oh and then this happens assuming you've killed the guard so there's a lot it's like not a great dm where you you, you just like can like play with words uh, and quickly go like, oh, this is what it understands from the situation, and just kind of like run circles around it. Um, but it's it's not really meant to be a proper DM. It is just meant to be interesting, and the shit it pulls out of its ass is super funny. Okay, identification. This is gonna be expensive, but I guess we got the moolah. Okay, ring of protection. That's really good. Uh, that's a classic D&D uh, &D item that like DMs always say like don't give that shit to your players because AC is important Ring of protection plus one ring of the princes this ring and several of his types were originally crafted to protect the sons of King Castor Castor D Castor D West I was like are they gonna hit me with these nuts I was afraid um, though who Though who uttered the enchantment is unknown, history records that the rings remain within that family for at least 13 generations, though they were all apparently lost within the space of one. Oh. Enmity between the king and the family of the creator may be to blame. <laughs> cast <her> these nuts. <laughs> and I cast. Nut. <laughs> uh! <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, Ring of Infravision. Oh, that's pretty boring. But that'll probably sell for a lot. Tops, Topsiders cr Crutch. Merchants that dare the risk of trading with the drow of the, of the Great Rift are often given 
these items to aid in their movement underground. That's pretty cool. And then the last but not least, when activated, the wand will eject. It's another one of magic missile. Nice. Damn, that's really cool. Wait, anyone got another thing they needed? Oh yeah, that bastard sword. It's a plus one bastard sword. It's weird that's like it's a one-handed weapon, same as a long sword, but the proficiency type. If you're proficient in long swords, you're not proficient in bastard swords. That's kind of unfortunate, because Khalid could use a could use a plus one weapon. But that means great sell. I can sell it for probably a lot. They really want me to identify those arrows, but there's not enough of them. I could buy potions. I think I just no. I think my character has plenty of potions to go around, so I'm going to not do that. Yeah, so here, technically, I don't need to reload when characters die. I could raise dead, but I just don't want to. Alright. I shall attend to it in a trice. Let's have a look-see. So, I'm going to give one potion to Khalid, because he had to drink one during that fight. Does that say 31? This wand of magic missile has 31 charges. God damn. <laughs> Praise dead. Pff, reset the world. That's right, Sharp Shadow. I am. We are as God. I will wear the ring of protection. Uh, and the ring, Topsider's Crutch. Oh, I get it. Topsider's Crutch. Clever. I understand now. Yeah, Infravision. I have group in for vision on, so I'm just going to sell it. Oh, yes. I forgot we found a f uh, find familiar scroll. So find familiar, le like, is awful in this game. Because I don't know what the find familiar even does. And if the find familiar dies, you lose a point of constitution forever. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sell it. I also wish the game didn't pause when I went into my inventory. <laughs> that is terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Find Familiar in 5th edition is so good. Because the Find Familiar can... Yes. Come on. The Find Familiar can do a lot. You can, like, cast... Depending on your class, you can, like, cast touch spells through it. Um, you can do a lot with it. And you can also teleport it around. You can, like, spawn it a, bu a distance away. Sorry, I should be walking and talking. Um, you can do a lot with it. Um, and if he like if he gets hurt, it's like ten gold. You get it back, and there's like no downside to like going on suicide missions with it, other than you're you're cruel. Destination is unreachable for the bandit camp. Where did it say I needed to go? Let me try something first. I shall attend to it in a truck. Because I don't know if exiting a certain um, like exiting to the right of the map matters. So I'm just gonna try that, and then I don't know. I don't really want to end the session there, though we are two hour and a half in. I'll try to keep my streams to uh, three hours. So I know there's totally monsters on the outside the wall of this place. I'm being careful. There you go. Okay, so it matters. I have to... Oh, and this is Peld Vale. Perfect. So I'll try to find the cloak of that dude on the way there. Oh, it takes 16 hours to get there. So I might need to camp somewhere too. It takes 12 hours to go to Baragos and, and 16 to get here. That's kind of funky. <laughs> you have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Are those gnolls? Half ogres! God damn. I should have How I should always Well I guess twelve hours. My my armor lasts for nine, I think. So it would be gone by the time. I don't think I'm gonna cast armor. Uh is this Khalid? Yeah, he has full plate, so I'm just gonna... Damn, I did this with a fucking sling. Come on, guys. Okay, they don't deal too much damage. What is it this time? I'm gonna need you to be better. Thank you. Nice. Somebody! Oh, Khalid leveled up! Good job, Khalid. Khalid. Stop. He's like, humping my leg. Hell 
yeah. A thing, also, because you play uh, be Nancy wish. Drew with uh, with Nicole. Um, all of these games that I'm going to be playing on stream, like Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, not Planescape Torment, but like uh, Divinity, Baldur's Gate 3, all of those games are multiplayer, co-op. So that could be something, because you two seem to play pretty often. So, Oh, I didn't loot them. Sorry, I was a little distracted. Uh, is that a long sword? No, it's all bad. Everyone has bastard swords. If you are interested, uh, wait. Oh, I was way late. I need to still need to get to Pelde, uh, Pel, Pel, Peld Vale. Um, if you are interested, um, the highlights are available on my The River Studio YouTube page, and the full stream, if you missed any part of it, is available on River Games. Self promotion. What are those? Hobgoblins! Let's fuck them up. Nice! Guys? Ooh. Heal your husband, though! A side note, um, you know verbal components? Because it's, it's a computer game, you can all the verbal components are like accurate, which is, I think it's pretty cool. Like to know the actual verbal component of cure wounds. Ah, that's pretty cool. It's canon. What you want? And when you like the shinies, grab that. How may I be able to? I leveled up. Holy crap, guys! <laughs> yeah, that is. Though I like my head cannon of healing word just being, hey, hey, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, just like, hey, get, get up, dude. Healing words. Ooh, I can spell cast spell once, one more time every day. Four instead of three. You weird. Wait, I should save. This is spooky, guys. Damn, this is fishy. It's raining. <gasps> Are the crickets loud? Damn. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, what is that? A non-interactable barrel that's ripping a space and time. What is that? Oh, that's a bat. The crickets are somehow way louder than everything else. Yeah, that's true. Should I go into the woods? I kind of want to see everything, but... Oh. What is that? Wild dogs. That's unfortunate. Okay. You have need of me? Yes, oh omnipresent authority That's unfortunate. How may I do this? I shall attend to it in a trunk. Oh, what is that? Wood of sharp teeth. Thanks for telling me in advance, game. Oh. Who's that? Bandit? But he's not aggroed. Never mind. Riken. Riken. Riken? Riken. It's your choice which hits the grounds first. Your sword or your head's. Be smart now, and you'll all live to grow wise. Shit, I split up at the last second. I wanted to cast Bless on everyone. You'll not take us alive. We'll not fight you. In fact, we want to join your group. Going Charisma would be fun. Let's see what he says. Now, there's a laugh. Why, pray tell, should we take you Rattle Pails? Rattle pail? <laughs> Rattle? Yeah, rattle pails. I don't know what that means. You know when someone insults you, but you don't understand the insult, so it's somehow worse? Because <laughs> now you're insulted and dumb. <laughs> Tazak can ill afford to turn down any offer of help. It's a monumental task he has ahead. Oh, shit. I can like be like, I know what's up. Let's pretend we're smart. 
How did you come by the name of Tazok? No matter. We will kill... Oh, it doesn't matter. We will kill you now and shaft the spy who told you later. <laughs> and Max says, maybe, like, you don't have enough brains so that... Uh, enough brains so what you do have is, like, a couple of rocks rattling around in a bucket. Sounds about right. Relatable. What is it this time? Oh, this is bad positioning. Uh, there's... A lot of archers, too. Okay, uh, who's, who's this? That's Imoen. Oh! I'm gonna level him up mid-fight. Never mind, he just gets more HP. Good on you, buddy. Okay. Uh, what? He has an ability called Guard. And I don't know what it does, and I should look into it. Oh, that's interesting, because he's a ranger, and his and Dinahir got abducted by Knolls. His racial enemy is Knoll. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what guard does. I'll look into it. Uh, off stream. Okay. Let's talk more cool, butt kicking for goodness. Yes. Everyone's just gonna go in. I shall attend to it in a trice. And when we gather, what are you doing, buddy? Can I help you? I can. What you want? Try. Wait, blasted chill. If we weren't working for the same boss, I'd kill them hobgoblin scum for y the coppers they carry. What is happening? And also, there's more of them than I thought, and I think that Dinah here decided to cast Bless out of turn. Maybe we'll get in range fast enough. How may I be of assistance? You have need of me? Oh my god. Minsk, this is not looking good for you. Is she done casting? God, you're slow. Heal him. He's gonna die. He should not be healed. She should be taking a potion. Can I cancel her casting? Oh man, this is not looking great. Attack Khalid instead. Don't kill him. Nice. Nice job. Okay, they're gonna keep attacking. They're spreading the damage though. So you guys focus on this dude. They're gonna go for this guy. I'm actually going to... Wait, did we kill Riken? Did I not notice? I think we killed the Riken. Oh, and we can start collecting some bandit scalps. Okay, I think we killed the leader, so this should be a little bit easier. But I am going- I'm worried for Minsk. Scalp them! Give me some Nazi scalps! Uh, I'm going to start casting Magic Missile. Like it's no- there's no tomorrow. Nice. Nice. Uh, Magic Missile again. On this guy. And Imuin attack this guy as well. Everyone else, this guy. Oh, cool. No need for that. I think my guy got stuck on a rock and didn't cast magic missile, which ended up helping me, actually. Perfect. Is everyone full health? Looks good to me. I don't know what that was. Actually, I'm gonna give the scalp to Minx. Minx, because he's he's heavy. He's a heavy boy. I think the scalps are heavy, right? Nope, they don't weigh anything. Oh! Don't look at it. Look away. <laughs> Looks like a horse tail, and the whole horse ass too. Oh yeah, Deacon and Potato says. On the hundred, I found a bag of real horse tails. I remember this story. Um, also, when I was a kid, uh, we were really, uh, we were a very musical family. Um, what is and it this time? the we would get like you know bowstrings. They're made from like horse tails. Well, before they were like synthesized. Because oh, real horse tail sounds better. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> But you'd go to a store and they just have like these like massive like yeah I've seen what they look like bundled up. 
Okay, we killed Riken. He, he was a named character and we just bopped him, so it seems like an important event. I'm happy we went north a bit. Looks you wonder what I'm missing out on. Oh. Actually, I can't go east, so I'm gonna go north. Suddenly crickets. See if I can access the bandit camp from here. I think this is gonna last the last thing we're gonna do today. They're in wait, nulls? They did say they were half humans uh helping them. I've discovered the bandit camp. The largest tent should belong to their leader. And with it, I should be able to find documents that reveal who pulls their strings. Uh, I really want a quick save. How much yeah. casting do I have? Two still. That's pretty good. Ah, what now? Need your she can only friend? heal once more. Cool, Minsk oh, needs a potion. He needs to equip his potion. That is. What does Oil of Speed do? Doubles movement and attack rates. Duration, one hour. I need to drink that before the beginning of the fight, for sure. This is a good time to use it. She, has, she can also go invisible, but I think I'm going to keep that for story reasons. Get all quick and slippy. What is it this time? Okay, I don't know how to approach this. I'm not familiar with the area. I'm assuming it's like this, so I'm going to go... I shall attend to it in a truck. I'm going to go left. Ooh. Some ruins. That's kind of cool. Little pretty little pixel art. Oh, shit. Hobgoblin? Hobgoblin Elite. I love that Minsk can go... Because he's less armored. Right? And he has, like, crazy range. So he can stand behind the two tanks and just... Rah! Shall be as you wish. This is nice. This looks important somehow. I must rest. Let that case of armor change. <laughs> so they need to sleep bad. So as soon as I kill everyone here, I'm gonna take a snooze. Shit. Oh shit. If they get too injured before the bandit camp, I'm going to need to sleep. Nice. They're just not hitting, which is pretty nice. They've got some jewels on them, which is interesting. I guess it's the shit they stole. Sorry, this is studded leather. Actually, Imoen, you could use studded leather, right? Yeah, Emwyn got an armor upgrade. That's pretty cool. She can't carry much at all. Her strength is nine. Yeah. Guys, keep formation. This dude here, an archer. <laughs> oh shit! No rest for the wicked. I think he's going for Minsk. Actually, you two attack this guy because they're going to make quick work of him. That's not good. She's going to have to cast command. heal on herself. I have to be careful with my attack commands. Oh no, she just got hurt again. Oh, that's not good. I think I'm gonna need to sleep because she's out of heals. Yeah, she's out of heals, and some of them, some of us are hurt. I don't know if it's possible to sleep here. If we're gonna get attacked in the middle of the night, that's not good. Ooh. 
the fights have for sure gotten harder in this difficulty. Yes, but it's like, I feel like it's like right at the nice, it's like nice. You know, like I have to actually play the game. It's like nice manageable uh, difficulty. It's a gem. A star, the upside, the upside, the upside gem. <laughs> Minsk go, ooh, I like the forest. <laughs> Good on you, Minsk. Did she level? She just leveled up. She leveled up again? That's crazy. Okay. Everyone's leveling up. I really should look into what dual classing is. Um, What I use Imwin for is open locks and find traps. I really don't care for anything else. So I think this time I'm going to bring locks, uh, find traps up. To 50 and then I'll do open locks to 60 yeah I know it's like D&D &D where it's like you reach like a, a, a power of 10 or a power of 5 and then you get like an actual bonus from it and nothing in between I don't know exactly how it works I didn't really look into it this system has so many weird complexities okay now I need to try to sleep oh yes. boy I shall attend to it in a trice hopefully it'll go well Kaiser says, no pain, no gain, but death is just temporary. Learn that in Borderlands 2. <laughs> nice. That's very true. Hey, we didn't get waylaid. That's good. It shall be as you wish. Uh, I b oh, wait, more people leveled up. I have, I believe, rest till fully healed enabled. So, like, long rests are different lengths. They're not just eight hours. You, like, rest until you're fully healed. Yeah, Ellen, no psychosis this time. Yes, nothing, just a health increase. But, like, that's good. We're leveling up just be uh, before, like, a really hard fight. So everyone's going to have, like, a lot of extra health. Like, I we all I think we all doubled our health. I think Mintz just got 10 more instead of... Because he was at 12, and now he's at 22. So he just got 10 plus, but still, that's good. Oh, shit. He lost one of his two-handed swords. God damn it. What is it this time? Orion would be proud of your actions. Thanks, Khalid. You're wish. a pal. Bandit can't. Look at this art. Ah, so good. This reminds me a bit of the art in Planescape Torment, which I'm very excited to play on stream. I'm thinking I'm going to do Baldur's Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 2, Baldur's Gate 3, then Planescape Torment. Flame arrows? That's a good spell. Oh, I'm afraid of her going on her own, actually. Yes, it shall be Come back, in one. <laughs> we'll all go together. Oh, shit! How may I be of assistance? Ouch! When the going gets tough, what is someone hold my brother. There'll be safety in numbers. That hurts. Actually, you stay to heal me. Ah, oh, is it worth it? It's a bit of a waste, but... Oh, that's not good, guys. Oh, n oh no, no, no. Okay. Ah, uh... oh, man, I should have fucking cast armor on myself. Well, I'll do it now. Wait, he looks stuck, actually. No, he's not stuck. Ah! What is that? What is that thick boy? Ardener Crush? No, thick boy, stay away. Uh, are you done casting armor on yourself, doofus? Oh, we could have approached this better. Okay. Uh, magic. Oh, man. Oh, you're right, Kaiser. I do have some spell scrolls. Does Is it effect friendly? If I retreat everyone and then go pew pew, it might be good. Let me check. No, don't magic 
arrow yourself, dumbass. I have identify. Can you make thick boys sleep? Thick uh, sleep is a AOE and it affects people depending on how close they are to me. A little, or maybe that's just yeah. I think that's it. It's not based on like hit points. I think it's based on proximity. Find familiar blindness, glitter dust. I actually, do not have sleep on me. I think I sold it. It's a thick snooze. Hmm. I think we're to. Because I believe this is not the boss fight. <laughs> so we're going to keep it, but I'm going to use up my spells. We're just going to dig a little bit into the wands, I think. Did I cast? I think I ca accidentally cast Mage Armor twice on myself. Oh, this is, does not look good. Okay. Heal your husband. Oh, Imwin's gonna get bopped. Maybe she can kite. Oh boy. Okay, okay. They're having trouble reaching each other. I think I'm playing the AI to its own game. This guy's like, I don't know, I don't know what to do, man. Um, and I believe I'm out of spells, but I'm gonna dig into the magic missile wand. Uh, I believe Jahira blessed it, everyone. Oh, and he's on that side. Drink your potion. I should have drank the oil of speed at the very least. Cool. We did it. No. Where are they going? I misclicked. Oh, 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 Okay, so she's out of heals. I'm going to redistribute some healing potions again. I'm running out. I need to buy some next time I'm in town. Whew, we did it, guys. I mean, we did the first part of it. The first bandit camp. Yeah, I really should have. I should have given Imwin. I should have buffed everyone. I should have given that Imwin that potion of speed next time. How may I be? Oof. I shall attend to it in a trice. <laughs> You're a queer oh, 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 she's out oh, as well. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay, guys, I'm, I don't have any more potions for anyone else. Are you okay, Emwyn? I think I have mage time? armor on myself, so I should hurry. Awesome. There's so much in this camp. I think we'll go... I want to not activate everyone at the same time. Also, my dude uh, yeah, loots, so he goes alone in the front. That's why he got, like, I've done had attacked. Okay. Go, I need oh my god. My hamster become an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did you hear what he said? He said, I need some healing lest my hamster becomes an orphan. Oh. oh that's 
That's funny. How may I HLP as you wish? Oh, perfect! Potions of healing! That's perfect, perfect, perfect. <sighs> I'm tempted to rest, but... I don't know if I can in this area in the middle of a bandit camp. I don't want to just take the potion, because she can't heal anymore. That's all she's got in her. Minsk. Pick up a short bow. Yeah, I know. It's not a lot of damage, but I don't want him in the fray. I want you to just pick this. Take the gold. Oh, it's suddenly nighttime. That's weird. Yes. On my previous thing, it didn't... Huh. I can go in the tents? So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's a TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. That's not... I shall attend to it in a trice. I don't like the looks of ye. I don't. <laughs> Nor do I like the looks of ye. But it's better than a face of pulpy mush now, don't you think? Are you threatening me? <laughs> Are you kidding? With a face like yours, it's a compliment. Get out of here. I said I don't like it and it's not liable to change anytime soon. Give me your shit. Yep. I'm gone. Your I don't like your odds, buddy. Potions of fortitude. Oh! He's not happy that we robbed him. Am I, is my dude going to attack one day? Flick of the wrist, a crit. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Nice. Nice, guys. Beautiful. Get that, get that bandit scalp. Does he have a long sword? He does. Khalid, do you need a long sword? Actually, you're fine. We need long, we need two-handed swords. All right. Resume. Resume, Imwin. Do you guys think we could rest in here? Yes. You may not rest here. Either find an inn or rest outside. Okay, 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 okay. Um, there's activity here. Cheeky nappy. Yeah. I shall attend to it in a trice. I'm afraid to go that way. I'm afraid to go anywhere. Do you think I should sneak? I don't even know how to sneak in this game. Okay, I'm just gonna try looting. Huh, you're I'm gone. And then we'll go in the tent. I'm glad. I am really glad I leveled uh, up her lock picking skills because that was a joke before. She couldn't do anything. I, I shall attend to it in a trice. And you know, I don't know if you guys can tell from the bottom of the screen how often I quick save. <laughs> Tursus. He seems to be a pretty badass hobgoblin. Go for the eyes, fool. Go for the eyes. Rask! I lied. I lied, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't what mean to. Want? I didn't mean to lie. He, he looked thick. He had a name and everything. Quick saving, a legitimate strategy. I'll try not to save scum too much, but I mean, like, when you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you know. Another, an oil of speed. Didn't I have an oil of speed that looked completely different? So first off, potion of fortitude. What does it do? Once consumed, this potion will cause a surge of energy to travel through the body, setting the drinker's constitu constitution to 18. This provides all the bonuses of having a high constitution, such as hit points, for the duration of the effect, which is three hours. I think the person with a, I think Minsk should have it. Because he, his max health is 20. His max health is lower than Imwin's, so what the f Oh yeah, and what is that? See, I have an oil of speed that's like this, and an oil of speed that, that's like this. So this doubles movement speed and attack. It's essentially haste. And this... This 
oddly murky oil would appear to increase the movement and combat abilities of the Imbiber by 100%. Thus, a movement rate of 9 becomes 18. It's just... What? It's just descriptive, in, but it's the same thing. This does not reduce spellcasting time, however. Duration, one hour. It's the same potion, just with a different description. Oh, wait. No, it has the same description. It just, the statistics are missing. Maybe it's a bug. There's a little error in the remake. Point, ball, plate, and packing Looks like I'm missing someone. I shall attend to it in a trice. You did it, guys. There's a few tents I can go into while everyone's sleeping. That's not good. There's a flind? A flind? I don't know how there's how powerful they are in second edition, but in, in fifth edition they're strong as shit. Oh no. Focus fire? You have but to ask. Well they're not aggroed. Never mind. Wait, he's not aggroed. Right now he's aggroed. Okay, everyone go for him. Oh no, I think he's a caster. Holy shit. Never mind. Ah, uh, no, I'll cast fist. Actually, you go for this guy. Let's give them a right thrashing. Oh man. I need to rest somewhere again. Ah. Oh. You think I don't know if he's going to make it through another round. Maybe I can distract him. Just kite him! This is so stupid. He's like running around the tent like, ah! Okay. He got distracted. We did it, guys. How may I be of assistance? You have need of me? This is stupid. Oh, that was close. The dumbest fight so far. Yes, a two-handed sword. There you go. In case he loses his. Wait, did he have his bow equipped the whole time? <laughs> Oops. What is it this time? Oh man, look at them all. They look like shit. All right, anyway, go around the room. Do your job. It's the same room used over and over. She can hardly hold on to want? all the gems she has. All of this is like 40 something pounds. <laughs> yes. Well, I guess also the armor she's wearing on her back. I okay. I will attempt to have a sleepy poop in the woods and then we're going to stop for tonight. Okay. Quick save snooze okay that's promising i don't know if you get it like interrupts the cutscene and just like you're dying <sighs> okay so next time on baldur's gate we're going to finish the bandit camp and try to find documents that'll lead us to, to Whoever is doing this, whoever's pulling the strings, what they're trying to accomplish. What does it have to do with me? We're going to figure it all out. We're going to solve the mystery. Yes, this is a mystery game.
<laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying the story. Uh, I'll do another recap next time. Thanks for joining. And see you Friday. Bye.